Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kia Alexis and Andrew is here today and we're gonna be making some Barira. <laughs> how you say it? No, you got it right. It's, say, it, wait, say it again. No, how you say it? No, I wanna hear how you said it. Barira? No, you're making me sound crazy. <laughs> how do you say it? Beria. Beria tacos, okay? I have been dying for these tacos and who is better than to make them than my man, okay? So these are the ingredients we have. All right, so we have the guajilla pepper. All the peppers are dried. Um, this one is a ancho pepper, and this one is a pasilla pepper. Mm -hmm. Are these peppers like really spicy? Ah, uh, we'll find out. <laughs> I ain't never had them before. Okay. So these, I'm gonna soak them in um, in water to hot water to had boiling. So, so I can rehydrate them and remove the seeds. Um, have my bay leaves, cinnamon stick, white pepper, some cloves, peppercorns, cumin seeds. These I'm gonna toast before I blend them in with the marinade. That'll give it a much more rich flavor. So definitely get toasted with the garlic there. Then I have my meats. I decided to use a chuck steak as well as um, shank. That, that way I could just at least have some bone in there when it's um, cooking. I'm gonna use the pressure cooker um, to cook this meat. I'm not gonna do a slow cook. I'm do a pretty much fast cook instead. Um, so once I have all this meat marinated um, inside the, the sauce I'm gonna make, ideally, for the best flavor, you probably wanna let it marinate overnight. Or if you're a procrastinator like me, at least two hours. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started on that. So right now we're just sharing some of the meat that we have before we put it in the marinade. And then once we got that in the marinade, I'll show you guys how that looks. Smells so good. This is the marinade that we have right now. Those are all of the things that we showed you previously. We wanted it up in our ninja. Getting that nice and ready. All right, so we marinated it for about an hour. And now we're gonna start it and get this flowing. It smells so good. I cannot wait to eat this, guys. I cannot wait. So we got that. We got the meat in the pressure cooker. I think it has another 30 minutes. We're gonna make some Mexican corn. We got the guac and the pico being made. And Megan is here Hi, now. Guys. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, so the meat is tender. We had this in about, how long we had this in here for bed? Like an hour. And now we're gonna make the, um, the tacos and show you guys how that looks. But that's how the meat looks. It smells delicious. Mm, can't wait. Oh, this meat looks so good. Oops, fogging up the camera, babe. <laughs> See that tenderness? And we put this in a pressure cooker. Right, it's pressure? Yeah. It's open, toy. Okay. All right, so these tacos are done. I'm having a little taco night. I got the girls over here, and these tacos are amazing. They all love it. It smells amazing. 
Mm. And we still got some more sauce to dip it in. Let me show you everyone that's here. Little taco night. Hi. Okay, so it's the next day. The tacos came out so good. Um, it was Andrew's first time making them. So like, it wasn't like how he normally does his videos where he's like step by step, step showing you. Because he didn't want no surprises. And like, when you was, cause you have to like boil down those, um, those peppers and like the seeds pop out and he didn't want it to be like a disaster so he's just like you know what let me just see how this works out and then you know i'll show you afterwards but now that he knows how to master it like it was so good Amber, wasn't it good delicious like i wanted to get a clip of us like dipping it in the sauce you know in the, the sauce. sauce but i didn't get a chance to do that you know i had company yesterday it was a lot going on and we was drinking so I, didn't, I wasn't able to get that clip. But guys, it came out so good. As you can see from the pictures, like if you guys want to see this video again, please let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments so we can do like a step-by-step -step process so that you know you guys can achieve to get the same type of tacos. But it was so good. I know sometimes people use it, you can use it with beef or goat meat, um, right? Is it beef and goat? Is, that, is it just those two? Yeah. Or can you do lamb too? Lamb might it, be a little weird. I've only seen it with beef and goat. No, but yeah, it was... I know they have a lot of these trucks in, like, L.A. And, like, there's one truck that's in New York, but only one, and it's in, like, Jersey. But people love these tacos, and they're really good. And it was my first time eating them. And I only wanted them because of how social media had it everywhere, and it just looked so good. Like, I didn't even know the flavor, but I'm just like, mm, that looked good. But, yeah. If you guys like it, let me know, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.